What was he saying? He said, I didn't need that audible voice. I didn't need to hear it come from heaven. I heard it right here. In John 17, he didn't even ask for a voice. He didn't hear a voice. But I, I know just as sure as I'm seeing you're sitting there, he heard a voice. And that's, the, that's one of the takeaways from this text that I want you to get. Don't be looking for signs and wonders and audible voices all the time. Get along with God and let him speak to your heart. I can tell you in tw almost 21 years now since I came to the Lord, I can tell you it's those little nuances that he dropped down in my heart at unpredictable times that still causes me to be motivated to do what he's called me to do today. It doesn't take a lot. It's just knowing, it, knowing that you know that he spoke to you. It could be through his word. All of a sudden you've heard that text all your life and then this, tomorrow morning you read it and you're like, wow, I heard it that time. It was like all of a sudden you're sitting in the dark when it comes to that one verse and then somebody walked over on the corner and flipped the switch on you like, oh, I can see it. And the Holy Spirit made it alive. We call it revelation. The actual true definition, if it's out of the word, is illumination. The revelation's already there. He gave that to men of old as they, as they wrote. But he illuminated it to us so that we could understand it. And then he also gives us revelation. What's revelation? Revelation's something that's not written in the book. It goes along with the book, but all of a sudden, you get a revelation. I guess the best story I can think of right at the moment is my wife got a revelation first time we shook hands. It wasn't in the book. It wasn't written there. It wasn't anything God had said to her before, but when she shook my hand, she, the Lord spoke to her and said, he'll be your husband. Well, that's a revelation. Revelation something that there's no way you would have known unless God spoke it. Now, she didn't tell me that until after we was married. Smart woman. Not that I didn't like her. I liked her. But how many of you guys know first time you meet somebody, shake their hand, they say, you're my husband. It's like, oh, <laughs> really? And especially if God hadn't spoken to you. But I was sharing with the first service. And I still remember, and this is amazing to me. I don't understand it all other than the spirit goes before us. The world calls it deja vu. I don't believe that. I believe the Holy Spirit's been everywhere and done everything. And sometimes your spirit will connect with his spirit and you'll see things that you, I was just walking up my sidewalk the other day on the phone with somebody. I'm like, wow, wow. I've been here having this conversation at this moment. Well, that's not deja, that's the worldly, that was the Holy Spirit in me. Showing me that years. He said, I'll show you things to come. Why do we argue with that? Why do we have to put some kind of fancy title on it? Why do we have to listen to a counterfeit? Like fortune telling and horoscopes and stuff like that. No, let's get with the author of our life and find out what he's saying. He said, I'll show you things to come. And the world has counterfeited that and the church has put it in a closet. Well, it's time for us to come out of the closet.